Hello and good morning. Happy Monday. Happy Memorial Day. Not sure how many of you all get today. I feel like people might be taking a break, but we shall draw on. <laughs> uh, let me just pin this post. How's everyone doing so far? Did you guys have a good weekend? All right. There we go. I think we're good to go. So there's a couple of you. Good morning. Um, today is Husky Day. Today starts Dog Week. So we are um, we're doing a Husky today for Mascot Monday. <clears throat> Excuse me. Sorry, my voice isn't there yet. Um, Husky today for Mascot Monday. We have um, Scooby-Doo tomorrow. We have a space dog on Wednesday. Um, there's a thing going on with NASA Wednesday, so I'm tying into that. So we're doing a space dog. Um, we're doing a dog called Groovy Joe. It's a book. Um, <clears throat> and so I am reading that day again. So um, Groovy Joe will draw from Groovy Joe and then um, I will read in the reading group. <clears throat> and then we're doing um, a corgi on Friday. So that will round out dog week. We'll do a lot of other dogs, you know, down the road. Um, but that kind of knock, knocks off a bunch of different kinds. And they'll all be different. Like you'll see the space dog will be like a type of breed. Um, Groovy Joe is kind of a hound looking dog. Uh, Scooby-Doo looks more like a Great Dane. So um, yes. And then Today, my dogs are here with me. I usually don't let them in the room when I draw because they can be real pains, but they were both looking at me so sadly. So sad. So maybe they knew it was dog week and they wanted to be in here. So I'm just letting you know if I get interrupted, I may have to kick them out. But right now they're both just sleeping. I have one on each side. There's one over there and one over there. Um, so, wow, awesome. There's a lot of you here still. Goodness. I kind of felt like everybody was going to be in bed still or something because it was a holiday. So um, let me flip on the light and spin you guys around and show you our mascot drawing for today. So here's our husky drawing for today. Um, pretty simple as far as the colors. We really just are using gray. You'll use a color in the eye. And then if you give the husky a tongue, you'll have a color for the tongue. Um, that's it. You leave a lot of clean space for the other color. You did your first picture with just marker, no pencil. Awesome, good job. So you gave it a try, you went for it, huh? You should post it on the group and share it with me so I can see how you did. Um, so yeah, pretty, pretty simple. He's kind of sitting on his back legs. Um, I'm gonna change the placement of his tail. This is <laughs> one of those things where I drew him and I forgot his tail and I like threw his tail on last minute. It really should be kind of down here by his feet, down towards the bottom. It's kind of in an odd place, but you know, there you see, I even I make, make mistakes lots of times. So let me get my pencil and my pen ready. Hopefully you guys are having a good weekend, finding a way to have fun. Okay, so 
for the husky, um, it, it's not quite a circle, but like not quite a square. It's a, um, just do like, let's start with a curved line here on the top. Now, when we drop these down for the face, we're going to come out. So it's it's a curve at the bottom too, but it's a little bit bigger at the bottom than it is at the top. So I'm just going to curve it outward. Not too, too much. Almost looks like a gumdrop. I might round it out a little bit more. There, I like this side better. So see how this side is more rounded, this side is more square. I'm gonna fix this side. So I wanted it to kind of come out, but I didn't want it to come out as much as I did on this side. So just change the shape and erase it. That looks pretty good. So it's almost, you know, it's a circle shape, but a little bit narrower up at the top. And then for the body, down below, you can do a slightly curved line coming out and a little bit in. Same on the other side. Slightly out, curve back in, and then you can just leave that open at the bottom. So don't worry too much about that bottom section yet. We'll fill some stuff in there later. So now let's do the ears. The ears are going to be a, cur a curved line triangle, but it's going to connect over here kind of a little bit on the side of the head. So I'm going to start my triangle up, curve it around and into the side of the head. And then you try to do that same shape on the other side. When I was drawing last night, you guys, I must have done the ears, oh my gosh, 10 to 15 times. They just never looked right for me. And one, like right now, those don't match at all. This is very rounded. This is more triangular. So that's kind of what I kept doing last night is they wouldn't match up. So when I do that, I just kind of pick which one I like better. I want it a little more rounded, so I'm going to change this side. See if I can do it a little bit quicker than I did last night. <laughs> that happens sometimes, though. You'll get stuck on a shape. Yeah, that works. There we go. Now really at this point, you know, you could make this a lot of different dogs. So if you don't want to do it as a Husky, this could even be a Frenchie, a French Bulldog. I would just put like a circular circle in the face there for the snout and then do the nose little eyes so that would be a good good start for a Frenchie for the husky I'm going to start this like inner line of the ear but I wanted to have a couple of those little fur marks so kind of curve in do one of your little points out point out and then back down and then do the same on the other side so curve in point up point up and then back down and now this portion right here this line I'm going to erase so this this part of the ear will be gray. 
So it's just going to blend with the face. And uh, the other part will be white. So there I will leave the line since it's going to be a different color. I want to give some fur on the face too. So here off to the sides, I'm just going to do some of those little furry marks and back in and I'll do it on this side too. Sometimes it's easier to add those after you've drawn the shape than it is to draw them, you know, as you're doing it. And Huskies really have this furry white chest. So to start with, what I would do is from this corner, draw kind of a pointed shape and then come back up like the top of a teardrop. I'm going to even those up just a little bit. So like your top of a teardrop. Oops. But then you want to give some of these fur marks in here. So I did this first and then just kind of added some extra fur. just like that. So he looks like he has more of like a furry patch on there. Now in the face, let's put a nose, um, an upside down curved edge triangle here in the middle of the face. And a simple mouth with a straight line coming down and then that curved line smile. And then if you want him to have that little tongue hanging out, you can just do a little hot dog shape right here on the end and then put a little line for the bottom of the mouth. So this is inside the mouth, the tongue's hanging out. And you can make a, you know, much bigger tongue. Oh, make sure you put yourself on the birthday list. I'll post the spreadsheet this week, the link that you can use. So now we, we're going to divide the face because the face is going to be some gray, some white. So from the edge of the nose, you're going to do a curved line up and have it come back down to the bottom of the face. And I have it line up pretty much with the white on the chest. Same over here. Curve line up. And then the eyes are going to go in this space here. So if you feel like you made this too short and your eyes are going to end up too close to your nose, just elongate these a little bit more because this is kind of the space your eye lives in. So I'm going to put mine really close to the top and I'm just going to draw two circles inside of this shape. And 
And I'll do eyebrows, but I can have the eyebrows up here in the gray part. They don't have to be inside the white. And then inside of the eye, we're gonna do a curve line here up at, towards the top so we get the white portion of the eye will be this portion up here. And then another circle here inside at the bottom. And then our circle of light inside that. You guys all should be pros now at drawing eyes. If you've been drawing with me for a while. We do a couple different styles, but And there we go. That's the face of the husky. And of course, I've just done a little bit of fur here and there. You could make him furrier. You could add more. Um, you could even put some of those little points up top if you wanted. Do more inside of his neck. Now, for the outer edge paws, the paws in the back, I'm going to do a slightly curved line right here in on both sides, about the same length as each other. And then you'll do a curve shape up above it. So you're just kind of looking at the front of the paw as he's sitting on his back. And you can do little paw lines inside. See, just like that, he's kind of sitting up nice and straight. And then the other two front paws, I just did somewhat of a hot dog shape coming down. I'm going to find the center point first. So I know round, I want two, and I want them about the same size. So let's say here's one. And then here's two. And I have them touching at the bottom, but up here inside, they kind of split apart. And so that is the two front paws. I'm gonna change that line just a little bit and even them up. And then same thing, little paw marks here. Just like that, sitting on his paws. And you could even do like a little bit of a curve line here for, you know, to make it look like the paws sitting flat. It's a little detail that would look good there. And then lastly, you have the tail, and it doesn't really matter what side you put the tail on, whichever side. So if, if you made yours really close to one side of your paper, then put your tail on the other side. Um, but I will say, like I showed you in my original drawing, you know, I had his tail just kind of weirdly floating up here in like the middle of his leg. Um, and I'm going to put the today closer to the bottom. So I'm going to start with a line that comes up 
to a point and then comes out pretty wide but gets smaller as it goes in towards the base. Oh, that wasn't on the paper, on the camera, was it? And then I do want a little bit of fur in this, so I'm gonna do a couple little fur marks here on the insides. And then just remember when you're doing this with your pen, with your pen, you're not going to draw the line that's inside of those little fur pieces. And that is our husky. <clears throat> so again, when you're doing these fur marks, you're going to come to the fur and do the fur and then come back to your original line. So you're not gonna put that line right there that cuts the fur. And then again, like here in the ears, I'm gonna do those fur pieces. In fact, I'm gonna do one more. And then I'm gonna put this inside line of the ear. Cause again, this part's gray, so I'm not gonna put the line there. This part's white, so I am. This part's gonna be all connected to this gray part of his fur here. So those little fur lines. And sometimes when I'm just drawing, you know, if I'm not teaching, I won't even, um, I won't even do the fur until I'm going in pen and then I'll just throw it in at different places on the line. Some details I wait till I get to the pen stage. The more you draw, the more comfortable you'll get with doing things just straight in pen. And sometimes you mess it up. Just like last night, I really felt like I put the tail in like the wrong spot, but it didn't ruin the drawing. For most people probably wouldn't have even thought anything of it, but in my head, visually, I didn't like the placement. I once did a drawing, I'll have to see if I still have it. If I do, I'll show it tomorrow. But um, really early on when I started drawing for friends, I did Scooby-Doo. Um, and I did it all in pen and I did the whole, the whole gang in the mystery machine. Oof, it was, it was a challenge. But I think had I done it in pencil first, I would have struggled with it more because I would have obsessed over certain shapes and getting them just right. Now I'm not gonna put all of this line either since this is all white. I'm just gonna put a little bit of it coming in on each side and leave this middle portion out. So if I can find that drawing, I'll show you guys tomorrow. Has anyone tried to do the, um, the blind drawing yet, the drawing without looking at your paper, drawing a picture of someone else, or even drawing a picture of yourself and just looking in the mirror. There's a, um, 
there's an illustrator named Wendy Mack, and she um, she actually has been doing drawings as well on Instagram. Um, I think this is her last week, though, but um, she gave the same assignment this weekend. But she had an awesome tutorial of how to do it um, that she had in the New York Times. So I was going to link to that today because I think that's a fun thing for everybody to try. just another way to show you how fun drawings can be when they don't have to be perfect. They can be more abstract. But I think I was talking about that on our Red Nose Selfie Day saying give it a try. So I was laughing that on Friday she uh, posted it. So I'll post, um, I'll share that today. I'll find her post on Instagram about it. Um, she printed, she had a thing in the New York Times about how to do it. Um, and she posted it on her Instagram and it's great. It's like, it tells you exactly how, um, how it's done, where you're really just looking at somebody and her thing is, um, she says four minutes. Set a clock timer for four minutes. You sit across from someone at a table. You each have a piece of paper. You look at each other and you start drawing and you start from the eyes and then you go from there. Um, so both, you know, everyone's starting from the same position and has the same amount of time to draw it. It's really fun. And you could do it just in the in a mirror too. So if you don't have someone in your house to do it with, you could do it of yourself. I did it once with a friend, and he and I were cracking up. They were so funny. And I actually, we weren't even looking at each other. We were just remember, drawing each other from memory. But you just can't look at your paper. So in that four minutes of drawing, you can't look at your paper and sometimes you'll think you're doing good and then you'll lift your pen to like do the nose or something and then you realize, oh my gosh, I have no idea where this nose is about to be. But if your kids want more drawing um, tutorials, uh, it is on Instagram, but um, Wendy also kept all of her videos up at first she wasn't she was doing them live and they were only up for the day but then um, now they're there so you can go back and watch others and she plays a she plays around a lot with watercolor so if your kids like to watercolor um, she, I mean she even teaches you how to make watercolors with um, fruits and vegetables around the house. Um, she did a one weekend. Her challenge was having everybody make paper out of discarded vegetables and organic materials. It, she's done some really cool things. I kind of discovered her a couple weeks ago. All right, so there's my husky. So those are the areas that I'm coloring black, his eyes, the inner circle, the nose. And then because I did a little bit of an open mouth with a tongue, I'm coloring that little bit inside with um, black. And then I'll put pink. This is called pink. <laughs> I know some of you like to know what color I'm using. This one is very boring. It is just called pink. And then I'm going to give him blue eyes. This is called ice blue. I wanted like a really light blue. And today, guys... Um, it's our 60th drawing that it does include the sip that doesn't that does include the sip and draws 
Um, it does not include any of the private. Um, I've found out that some people are drawing those just based on the photos and the albums, which is very fun. You're drawing them without instruction. Um, but yes, today is our 60th drawing. So congratulations. Thanks for coming and doing this with me. Okay, with the gray, I'm coloring all this space in. Just gonna give you some little funky lines so you can see all of this in. I'm coloring the tail in. And then on the body, I'm actually gonna leave the front legs white, but I didn't wanna do a line, like an, another line line. So what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna come up from here, put a little fur piece in, and then bring it up to the chest. So I'm just gonna outline in my actual color. So up, little fur piece, and then up to the chest. And so now this outer side and this outer side will be gray, and this will all be white. Okay, so that kind of gives you a general idea of where the color is going. Thanks for hanging out this morning. I know there's a good amount of you. Doesn't feel like any other different than any other day. And I know for some of you, this is going to be your last four days of school. So enjoy it. Does anyone who is drawing today have a husky as their mascot or have a husky, period? They're really beautiful dogs. Coming into all these little points. Way I don't accidentally color them in or color outside of them in the white part of the ear. And this is another drawing, you know, huskies are very furry. Um, this is another drawing where you could do a lot of those little dash lines, you know, and give more fur detail. If you had other colors of gray, like a darker gray, you could do even some darker ones. So you can make it look more furry and give more detail. Oh yes, University of Washington. I have a bunch of family who went there. Who live up there. I think a little darker where the eyebrows are. Usually I like doing those little dash things too. If I'm having a day where I feel like my coloring is just full of white marks and I don't want to go in with a blender or maybe I can't find my blender pencil, then I'll just go through and do these kind of fur lines. See that it just looks more like fur, like hair. See, like that. And then it doesn't matter if you have those little imperfections in your coloring because you're kind of adding some in. 
and it just makes that work and gives it a hairier appearance. Well, let's come along this line here. Again, kind of trying to do my outlines first. If you end up doing um, the fur lines like you did in the face, you should do them in the body too so it matches. Otherwise, it'll look like you kind of left something off. So you want to come in and do them in here too. Make some little, some big. And again, typically I would grab a couple different colors of gray and do it, but you can make it work even with one. Let's do this side. supposed to be really warm this week so hopefully you guys are staying cool I know some of you have pools you'll cool down in I'm super jealous of that I social distance floated yesterday in a pool it was very nice Trying to find myself a little inflatable pool in the back for to put in my backyard, and no one has them. Everyone's sold out. This paw. Typically, I'd hang out at the rec center. Wednesday is supposed to be our hottest day. And then, see, I like that. Now he looks really furry. <clears throat> looks more like hair. Well, my dog stayed quiet. Oh, one bailed out on me. Just my lab. <clears throat> Gosh, my voice today. Just my lab is here. He's snoring away. I don't know if you guys can hear him, but he's down here by my feet, just snoring. He likes coming in during drawings. I do let him in sometime. He's pretty old. So he just sleeps. But sometimes when I let the two dogs in, they'll play and then they're super loud but they didn't do that today, thankfully. They just wanted to hang out and be a part of dog week, I guess. So last little dashies in the tail. <clears throat> I don't have any birthdays today. I don't have any birthdays until the end of the week, later in the week. Um, his name is Whiskey, and then I have a, a little or do, a Frenchie, so my lab is Whiskey, and then I have a Frenchie named Pepper. She bailed out. She's probably sitting in her dad's lap. That's her favorite place to be. All right, and there we go. Start of dog week. There's our Husky. 
oh, throwing pens around. Just gonna put my name on the paper. And my age and where I'm from. And make sure you share your pictures. We have a one folder this week. So this week we just have a folder called Dog Week. And so you're gonna put, if you put your item, if you put your picture into an album, you're just gonna put it right into the Dog Week album. There won't be, you know, one for each day. We're just gonna put the whole weeks. Or if you can't find the album, you can just post it directly on the page. That works as well. Uh, we will be back here tomorrow to draw Scooby-Doo. Uh, tomorrow's drawing is at 1 p.m. Pacific time. So thank you very much for hanging out with me this Monday, for coming back week after week. Um, happy Memorial Day. I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day and you stay nice and cool. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye.